Hey guys, what's up? Sidekick Lefty, and I wanted to show you guys a new project I've been working on now. The first thing for start is anybody that watches my videos. I am not a mainstreamer. I kind of do whatever I want, uh, and I usually make it work. And this is one of the builds I'm going to show you. Um, this is my first healer I've ever made in any MMO. And I kind of wanted to break it down and actually try and run a dungeon for you to see you like what my boy actually does. Now the skills aren't maxed out and they're not where I want them to be yet and I'm just trying to level things up to get certain abilities so work with me here. But for starters I got uh, Radiant Regeneration, I'm really good, uh, Ice Fortress, Impaling Shards, and polar winds on the back bar. The front bar it's straight straight heals except for dive which I'm using just to level up animal companion because I want Betty Netch for uh for my healing build build because it's gonna increase my spell damage which will increase my spell heals for the party. Uh, that's gonna be a long ways to go. Um I'm running a destruction and a restoration staff and this might sound a little nutty but I want to run a sword and shield and destruction staff on a healer and when this build gets finished I'll show you why um, and I'll be just late game stuff but there's a few things that yeah, I, th I think would be really cool to work together now um, I want to put a point in here I'm just wondering what this actually turns into it reduces the cost and immobilizes enemies around you when cast summons a target location and is based and damage is based off wait, wait, wait. Right, summons the target location around you and deals damage based off your spell damage and max magicka uh... Pff, yeah that sounds like that'll be stronger much stronger um, alright so that's that so hopefully we can queue up and make this go really quickly I'm, uh, I'm gonna definitely try to I'm a healer healers tend to get queued really quickly um, hopefully you guys don't gotta wait too long like I'm and the wild thing is is like I'm not even running like top tier gear. Like I'm running like straight poop, guys. Like I'm, I'm not joking. Like I'm running straight fucking poop. Um, level 25 weapon. I'm a level 30 plus character. Gum, right? And back bar's level 30 again. And my armor's level four, bro. Like level level four, man. And I got some poop, straight poop gear, right? Um, I've been trying to power level by doing random dungeons. Your daily random dungeons basically over and over and over and over again just to get those power those levels up to get them level 50 so I can actually farm the gear that I want to make this build work. Now we're already in a dungeon. Okay, so we're going to Selene's Web. I've been here a million times, so we'll see what's good. But yeah, well, cheers. Ah, tasty. Now I want to show you guys now. These are normal dungeons. This isn't vet. Again, I'm, I can't do vet. So, um, this is just a project. It's nothing that's gonna like top tier. Like, it's not like anything like um, Alicaster or or Fractal Life or any of that. It's just, you know, like I said, I don't follow that mainstream. I don't I mean I like it. It does help, but I I don't know. I want to do my own thing. I, I'm sick of people telling me what I need to do to be good. Yeah, it's not it's not part of my game plan here. All right, so I already got the dungeon. Do I? No, I don't. I need you. This is the first time I'm doing this with this character. All right, all right knowledge gained. All right, sounds good. Let's <laughs> see what's good. All right, so don't. All right, so like I said, I'm not even healing right now. I don't actually need to. And the companion's level two, that's what I'm talking about. Dive increased. Heels are looking good. Um, looking pretty good. Ah, got it. Alright, now I didn't really have to heal there. Um You know, companion's level four. That was why I mean, it's the first skill in the game. So for uh, for that jump, but like I said, I'm, I'm having this on just to get it to level thirteen, so I can get belly niche. Um, because I want that increased spell damage, so my heals get a lot stronger, like by stronger by twenty percent. 
All right, so we got some goons. We got some goons. Hey, you know what? I'm going to. No, oh, you ran away, you jerks. I'm frozen. Am I frozen? Ah, oh, Celine's web stuff. All right. All right, we'll give everyone armor. Send bitch Nelly out. Not that not that Nelly. I'm sorry. Uh, dives is level five, so that's pretty much getting morphed here. Sucks I don't got the skill point for it right now. Um, where I have to talk to somebody and they're not here for me to talk. Oh, there they are. Okay, let's say it didn't load. Like, wait a minute, that's weird. Um, what? Speak with the warlock. I did. I'm confused. That's what I'm waiting for them to speak. Yeah, I guess I, I gotta wait. <laughs> Alright, that's the first time. So, doing this cinematics. Uh, squads in combat. Good for them, guys, man. Yo, I'm, just, I'm trying to do my quest, bro. Like, come on. Alright, here we go. Let's rock this out. We don't die. Ah. Alright, cool. We're good. We're good. I'm around with some 810s. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Alright, so defeat Lion Claw. In this, I believe, um, DPSs kill the boss and the tank kills the ads. So I'm just going to try and keep do my best to do a little bit of everything and keep Rez alive. So where's the boss at? There it is. How did he get up there? That's super weird. Did this just lag out? Uh, it lagged out. He got stuck. Right, we can still damage him though. That's all. Is he gonna jump? Is he gonna jump? He ain't gonna jump, dude. He's jump. Okay, I was about to say that's freaking. I've actually never seen that happen before. That was wild. Like I've never seen that happen before. I, uh, do well yeah man my one buddy who plays wardens are like why are you using uh these spike moves and the tornadoes he's like that they're pvp moves and i'm like yeah you're right and they are pvp moves but like i'm leveling my guy up so the faster amount of damage that i can do to the enemy the greater and i also want to learn to see what this damage does uh, that's my my biggest thing I've never played a warden before, and I've never played a healer before. So, like, it's, and I don't want to be like that backbone sailor that's in the background doing absolutely nothing, right? Like, I want to heal. And I seem to be doing a pretty well solid job of that. So, yeah, I think we're doing alright. I don't think I have skills in persuasion right now. I'm just positive I don't. I don't even unlock the fighters or the magic skill line yet. Like I said, this is a brand new, brand new character, and I want to show them to you when uh when it gets done. At the same time, I want to show you like how the work in progress part. And I think that's the the important part. Dive can now be morphed. All right, I'm not gonna waste my skill point on dive. Like I said, dive's just there for. It's just it's just there, right? There to level up for Betty. So, I'll do green balance is level thirty nine. So it's almost forty. That's cool. I do want to get my um. All of my weapon experiences up to level fifty because when you get them up to level fifty, they all do they get stronger based off your your level with that. And and that's why like I think it's incredibly important to get all your skill types, every single weapon type up to fifty. Like you don't have to do that, but. Like, if you want to legit have fun with your character, I'd recommend it. Because like I said, if you're not here to play the, the media, like, I just, I want to say F you to the media of this game. Like, I do. I just F you to the media of this game. Because I feel like, though, I'm doing just fine not doing my own jam. And I think that's where a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people fall in this category of, like, 
I have to do what this person tells me to do because it's media, or, and if I don't, my character's going to be trash. I don't think that's true. It might be true for, like, trials and stuff like that, but just to play the game and enjoy it, that's not true. I think flat out, it's not. So, I don't care who's saying, like, it's not. Like, PvP and trials, yes, it, that will help greatly, right? But if you... If your build works with your party, and I mean like works with your party, like you guys have customized builds that like are fluent together, like because that's the key. That is the key. Fluent builds that make every other person in your party stronger and supports the whole party. Then you're, you're, you're a powerhouse. End of story. Whether that powerhouse is increasing all of your guys' armor, your life, your damage dealt, your spell criticable, you know, all of that. That's all important. It's just you but your whole party has to be on that level too. You know, it can't just be like, oh one person's just gonna give everybody everything. No. If every person gave everybody everything, your party would be fantastic. And then what a lot of people don't realize is like your the effects that you leave on opponents, your conditions, if you will, they um they don't stack together. And what I'm saying is, like, you can't give a, a character the same effect twice. Like, let's say you give them unbalanced, and you have, like, five different skills that gives a character unbalanced, right? That ain't going to mean nothing, because he's only going to be unbalanced, like, every two minutes, or every minute in that fight. And, dude, that sucks. So, why would you not want to customize your builds for the past two characters that you have for, like, oh, I don't know, um, to make them do as many different conditions and or supports and I mean that are stackable you know that are and that's the key that are stackable because you want these you want you want it to be stackable man if it ain't stackable like you're wasting your energy you're wasting your everything oh god I got feared trees I love the wardens dude they're they're like and I'm turning this dude into a fifth edition Pally Druid, um, Paladin Druid from 5th edition D&D. &D. That's legit how, how I see this character in the future. Uh, summons, mad support skills, mad regeneration, and shields out the wazoo. So straight, straight freaking Druid Pally from 5th edition, man. That actually might be the title of this video. Um, and... Okay, in progress, return the barrier. Oh, sweet chest. It doesn't really matter. I'm not level 50, but there's heavy sacks. That kind of matters. And I guess the uh, the money matters too. But the sets are kind of just, eh. Sets right now are dookie because I'm not level 50. But let's push it through this dungeon and see what's good, guys. So I have no idea where my team is going, but I know I'm right, they're following. Okay, so we're going this way. This dungeon's actually like semi-hard if the tank doesn't know how to cheese the main boss. It's 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 rough, and I'm hoping the tank does because it would help out drastically, and I mean drastically, dude. Ooh, another big mini. Many leg beetle. No, oh, okay, is this another boss? Or she is pissed off that we killed her friend. I think she's pissed that we killed her friend. Oh, you ain't gonna stay in my AO of damage? That's fine. I'll recast him because I got the mana and because I have the regen on. What's up? got dropped just need magic stuff okay well I can't help you with your needing of magic stuff my dudes hey sir let me talk to dude we're all jute I'll deal with her do 
no, 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 no. Because Sleen's webs actually get, where you get like some pretty solid tanking gear, and I and I mean solid. You you can pull with this tanking gear without doing anything, and that's why it's really good. And I mean it's it's really good, dude. Alright, so this one ability I have that that's designed for a PvP ability that I mean it helps for the now. Um Winner's Embrace. This goes off your max life, right? Uh, scales off max life. And that's what my buddy was telling me about. I was like, why do you run it? Scales from max life. And I'm like, I got twenty five thousand life. And I'm I don't I didn't put any points into life, right? Zero points in life. I have twenty five thousand life. All right, and, and it might be because I have abilities that say when I heal, I increase your life, and I also ate some food, so I have twenty-eight thousand life. I have as much li I have two thousand life less than a tank. Well, uh, ten thousand life less than a, than a tank. So, it, I I wouldn't say the guild the, the build is like perfect, right, or or the ability is perfect for what I'm trying to do, but for these dungeons to level yourself up, like I want the extra DPS. I want to help my party kill things while I can still support the fact that there's st I'm just keeping them alive, right? And that, and that's the name of the game for me. So I, and that's what I'm trying to do. Like I said, this is just the level up process anyway. So if y'all want to dislike the video or, or tell me I'm, I'm garbage, hey man, you're more than welcome to. It's whatever. It's YouTube, bro. Hate hate goes both ways. I'll just dislike your videos too. You know what I'm saying? What's up? I don't need your content. You don't pay my bills. Alright, so the, the thing about this chicky right here is like when you get her to like 50% life, it, you can't drop her. You kill it. Alright, so now, yeah, alright, so 60%, we, we drop into a hole and she turns into a dude. No, we, we kill the spider and then she turns into a dude. And I think that's pretty sweet, like Celine. And she actually gets recognized in, in different dungeons across the. Uh, uh, across the downloadable content and you have to actually use her and her companions that turn into beast now you don't get, get that spider web ability which I think is like legit the coolest thing ever but we need to pull this dude into a hole and I don't think this guys know how to do it because I'm going to burn up and expend all of my resources if we don't because we if by doing this we get rid of the healers that the DPS's have to go and nuke which t makes the game a lot harder, like killing her a million times harder. But it's on normal mode, so we'll see what's up. Like I said, on veteran, you have to pull this in the corner. Oh, someone's got Celine's already. Nice. Celine is uh, that bear that just got summoned. It's really good for a stamina DPS. I mean, I don't, I don't use it. I got other, I got other stuff, but it, it, it does pretty high pretty solid high damage so if you're trying to spike out in damage like it it works and if you have a like especially for anything that hits multiple times in the same sequence the build's great so yeah we're just we're just nuking this chickie right here even with the healer in the back like we're don't we're just there's so much going on right now like we're, we're, we're doing that damage all right activity complete give me your stuff all right so that was pretty rad again uh polar winds level two sweet sweet um I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to. Um, I guess this guy, yeah, because that was Celine, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dump him. Uh, do, am I strong enough? I gotta wait for this quest, and I think actually be strong. Like, if I can level up, I'll still have this. I hope I have the skill point. No, all right, but I want. Yeah, so I gotta go. I gotta get level thirty, right? Um, which is nuts. Level 30, oh yeah, level 30, and I'm what level freaking what's my any animal companion? Level 12. Some of us halfway there. Like I said, the grinding would be too bad. Um, it shouldn't be. This is almost 50, and I'm actually really happy about that. Like this one needs to get morphed. I want I want to see what Nature's Graph does when you morph it. I think it's a fun ability. It, it's it's not as good. Like it's cool because you got the teleport and it gives you the ultimate. And I wish you if I could hit more than one person with this, it would easily replace this move. Because this hits all three of my targets without me having to be in an area of effect. It's just, they get healed. Don't sleep on this move. I, I really want to try and replace it. But that mana cost for 2,000 
for 12,000 over time is insane. And this isn't even maxed out, which means it's going to get stronger. It's going to get stronger with my restoration staff ability up to level 50, and it's going to get stronger when it's to level 5. So don't don't sleep on radiant regeneration, especially if you're a healer. It, it's legit, like, top tier shit. I want to figure out a way to replace it and see if I actually can because I want to get as many... Um, as many of my green balance heals on as possible because that increases my damage but we'll see what's up so anyway so this this dungeon was done uh, I got my skill point uh, I can't intimidate you but 37 so I got a skill point and did I level up to 30 yeah 37 okay so I got two skill points there that's hella cool that's really good all right so again character like I said this isn't gonna be how this whole thing works. all right so there's that boom push rewards whatever we'll get the magic up to 47 um animal companion dude I, I like i know i could actually i think i'm going to i'm gonna get the ultimate just because it's gonna help me level it up faster um and i think it's gonna be fun all right so back bar heals we'll put this one on because this is my healing bar anyway so i just have like a grizzly bear that just dumps right I actually i want to see what that looks like i really do but anyway, we'll, we'll test it out later, because I said this isn't actually the, the build of itself. So I'm going to teleport out. Um, go back to the Sean. And I think we'll call that it for this video. Um, if you guys like the content, definitely like and subscribe uh, the channel. That'd be fantastic. If you want to see more videos from me, uh, hit the notification button. That'd also be fantastic. If you want to see me live playing like my top tier stuff on Twitch, um, my Twitch channel is going to be in the description below of this video on my YouTube channel. So you can just click on that and it'll pull you up to Twitch because I don't stream on YouTube. I used to, but I, I went to Twitch. Um, so hopefully you guys can yeah check it out. Let me know what you think. If, if you don't like it, hey man, tell me you don't like it. That's quite, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Everyone has their opinions on everything else anyway. Um, if you thought it was helpful, let me know that. If you have any ideas that you want to share, questions you want to ask, put them down in the comments. Uh, I said, um, it's easier to make content if I know what you guys want. Uh, and that's pretty much how I see it. But uh, with this, I'm going to actually go over the idea of this healer and why I think it's going to be insanely powerful. He is a hot healer, okay? A hot healer means heals over time, like a dot damage over time hot heals it's the, the same thing but it, it heals the party instead right so with that being said all right let's just check this out uh elfborn increase your critical damage and critical healing with magic abilities by 25 percent blessed increase your healing done by 15 percent all right so 15 if i heal it's 35 percent on top of a normal critical and normal criticals are 50 percent right so there's 75%, well, 85% increased healing per heal spell used, okay? Um, so remember that, 35% per heal spell used. On criticals, it is 85. All right, so we're gonna go into the character. Go all the way down to, oh snap, oh snap, skills, that's right. We're gonna go down to the Khajiit. That's why I think this build's really cool with the Khajiit. Um, Khajiits are really cool because they're tri they're tri class all day, and you, you can do stamina or magic based with ever. They're tri they're in incredible if you want to do a critical anything. But we're gonna look come down to here to ambush. Increase your critical damage and critical heals done by ten percent. That's ninety five percent heals from the giddy up as soon as this hits level three. Now, come on, man! You, like you can't. It's insane, right? So with that being stated, um. There's going to be armor that I'm definitely going to be using for that. Radiation, right? Uh, 10 seconds up to 11,000, right? 10 seconds up to 11,000, which is awesome. Because that's every, if that criticals, let's say, let's say 11 or 12 times divided by 10, right? That's like 1,200. So 1,200 critical at 95%. Dude, you're, you're getting it every second just chilling, getting free heals of like 23K. <laughs> Nutty. Um... So we're going to go into our, I'm going to switch this one out. Again, the same type of move. I teleport to an enemy, 12,000 over 10 seconds, gain three ultimate while in combat. It goes off my highest offensive stat, which is Magicka. Seeds of the healing. Um, 
Seeds is pretty good. It, it, I just blossom things and over time heals. It basically just over time summon flowers which bloom six seconds healing you and allies in area for 7,000 health while the field grows and your allies are healed for 846 every second. You can activate this ability again to cause an instant bloom. So you double tap it and you get 6,000. You get 7,000 and 6,000 for a double tap. Leeching vines. This is, this is what makes this critical heal build really cool. Grow vines and embrace yourself, the lowest ally in front of you for 10 seconds. The vines heal the target for 1,500 health each time they take damage. This effect can occur every second. When the vines, sorry, the vines apply major, minor lifesteal to enemies that damage the target for 10 seconds, healing you and allies for 690 every second. So this is just, all right, Lotus Blossom. When I get stronger, my critical hit is rating is going to go up, and this ability is fantastic because it just naturally gives me major philosophy, right? So embrace the Lotus Blessing, consuming, causing your light attacks to restore 650 health and your fully charged heavy attacks to restore all but 5,000 life to you and allies and nearby allies. So if I'm around and I'm just hitting for light and heavies, my heavies and lights, doom, there's, and if that crits, if that crits on a heavy attack, dude, that's 10,000 life. If the little one crits on, that's a 3,000 life, right? Or a 3, 4,000 life. So all I got to do is light and heavy attack and I'm set, right? Now there was an ability I had on here, which I'm going to put back. Uh, see, this is my spike heal, and any target healed by this gains major intellect and endurance, which increases their stamina and magic recovery by 10%. Like right, now, this move is going to replace bats, but um, right. So like, if I actually put this on it, it's going to replace bats, and this is going to be straight green bar. And back here is where the things are going to be slightly different. Um, so it, it, it's it, dude, it's going to be fun to say the least like it's it's gonna be i think really powerful it's gonna be a critical hit dot healer that's going to give shields you know when i say shields like i mean shields um what the hell do i have to give shields oh there's a set called a uh, uh it, it's just a set i gotta farm for i'm not gonna get too involved in it just because it's gonna be in the next video with this character hopefully by the time i by the time i get it um i can hopefully get some people to help me farm for it because there's two sets that are going to make this idea just skyrocket with healing. And it's going to be really fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Again, I'm um, going to say this one more time. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content from me on Elder Scrolls or anything on the channel, definitely subscribe. My content's a little all over the place. I'm going to set up probably a few more YouTube channels and, and separate the content. But until that happens, check me out. Um, if, if you like the video, comment below. And again, if you want to see me go live on Twitch, the description to my Twitch is going to be in the channel below. But with that being said, I think I'm done actually making this video. And I just want to say, hey, guys, lefties out.